Hey hello friends welcome to my channel in this azure devops tutorial series today let's discuss about what is work item forms all right so in one of our previous videos we discuss about what is work item right so we also discuss about how to create work items and how to work and how to play with work items in this particular video we'll just focus on bit more detail okay so we'll just try to understand what are each and every details present in work item page all right so i will just show you a sample image so that you will have a clear understanding about what we are going to cover as part of this video all right so this is a work item page and i have given uh, i am going to explain in detail about what are these uh, highlighted parts right so we'll just try to understand each and every simple component present in a work item page all right so so i'm i am already in my project okay this is the project i've been using for demo purposes so i'm already in my project so i'm i will go into my work items right so here uh, so i have list many work items here right so i have user story i have future i have bug i have epic i have task right so let's pick a say let's pick a user story right let's pick a user story work item so this is a work item page right so now we have we have opened a gift card with credit card user story all right so at the top you have a user story work item name here so depending upon the work item you are working on it will display here in case if you are working on bug it will show you bug uh, and the bug number if you are working on any task or any epic it will show you the relevant work item name with the number appended to it okay so this is the very first part and then here you have your user story id here you have your user story title so here uh, will uh, so here we have gift card with a credit card so uh, this title will give a high level uh, overview of what this user story is going to cover all right so depending upon the business requirement you can edit the title here all right so this is the next part and here we have something called assigning so if you want to assign this to sub any of your team member you can use this option to assign to that particular person all right and there is something called comments all right so you can directly access comment just to we interact just to have some interaction with your team members you can click on this comment and start providing any comments like i can tag someone and i can tag someone and give my please start working on this user story all right so i'm just giving some basic comment you can give whatever comment you want right and then <clears throat> and then we have something called tag here so we have already discussed about tag tag is something you can use it for any project level purpose right so for example if you want to track some block items so if you are tracking this user story as part of regression all right or else if you are tracking this user story as part of uh, you know if you want to uh, you know uh, use you know want to perform a sanity testing for this all right so uh, you can uh, create a user defined or a business specific tag according to your wish and you can track that uh, in future all right so this is what this uh, tag is used for you can add multiple tags all right so whatever you want you can um, add it and as usual you can save it so once you complete any activity you have the save option you can save it if you want to if you if you want to keep an eye on this particular uh, work item you can follow this you can click on this follow button and start uh, following it and here you have settings notification settings all right you can uh, you can subscribe to the required notification all right so if you want to have any custom notification also you can uh, select this option so basically this is for notification setting so if someone has made any changes to your users to this user story do you want to be notified so and so so what those kind of notification level settings can be managed here and this is for this particular is option is to refresh the page and for here we have at the last we have some additional task information all right so you you have new linked work item you have change type you have move to team project you have create copy work it means you have a lot of way, um, options here right so for example if you want to change this user story into a uh, task right so you can click on this particular task and give you if you give okay 
it will change this user story into particular into a task if you want to change it into a epic or a future you can select that option and if you click on okay it will change this user story into a particular work item that you have specified okay so you can play around this options and uh, see and if you have any queries in this options this is gonna uh, you know it's, it's very user friendly options so i am not gonna explain it in detail but in case if you have any queries you can just let me know all right and um, and then you here you have something called state it will show you if it is a uh, if if this user story is new and if it is an active state if it is in result if it is closed it will show the status of the particular user story all right so if you are if you are if you have started working on this you will make it as active right so you can make it as active and you can save it and these are the default options that is created when you create a user story right so this is <coughs> this is my project details project online devops demo and this is my iteration i'm just working on sprint one all right so it, by default uh, you have a, a reason specified for each and every state right so for active you have something called implementation started all right this is inbuilt and it is you can also customize it but by default for uh, each and every development methodology this is mostly uh, default options only right so this is something displayed here and what else you can see when it was last updated and we have a details tab so <coughs> in the details tab you can see all these things you have description box if you want to add any description you can add it here description description uh, one two three i'm just um, typing something and here you can give acceptance criteria acceptance criteria one and <clears throat> and you can give some information right anything you can detail your acceptance criteria here and you can also play with your uh, acceptance criteria box you can add you have a lot of editable options like you can make it in bold italic and you can explore all these user friendly options this is just a very basic steps all right so you can use these options and um, here we have something called story points story points is the actual estimate that you provide in your agile projects right so how what is the what effort is is it going to take for you to complete this user story is this used story point all right so this generally happens during your sprint planning session so you sit with your team and try to estimate uh, how much is story points is going to take for this particular user story to complete for example say if I, if this is going to take 10 hours i'm going to mention 10 story points okay so this is generally if it is takes 10 hours you give it as 10 story points but this is not a default option but it might vary according to the project and the team that you are working on so it is really important for you to understand the story point definition in the particular team that you are working on all right but by default in most of these cases it will be you know one story point means it will take one hour in general all right um so that is that is all about story points and here you have priority okay so on what priority do you need to work on this particular user story or work item is something you can select here in case if you want this option to be moved to uh, business very quicker then you can prioritize this right and there's an option called risk as well what is the risk item if if this is not implemented and what will be the uh, business impact so those kind of uh, option can also you can select here and you have something called classification you can specify the value area is it is it involving some business areas or is it more technical or ar architectural kind of classifications uh, you can select here and what else do we have and you have yeah you have a discussion comment section so you can tag your team members or provide the updates on on this particular story in this particular uh, discussion section and here we have deployment and development related work so these and all uh, you know um, so in case if you have configured the releases and if you have linked with your uh, github or any version control tooling system in those kind of situation all this information will be linked based on the activities that you are doing okay but i am not gonna confuse you with this lot of uh, this is a very advanced topic so i'm not gonna 
cover as part of this but in case if you are uh, really interested on this keep stay tuned to my channel i will cover all these details in detail in my upcoming videos all right but in higher level as the name indicates deployment so is this user story deployed and what is this uh, status of this user story to production so those kind of information you can track here all right and next we have a history tab okay so in history you can uh, actually uh, track uh, the history of this particular user story like who created this user story uh, what is what was the status i i made it from new to active right so you can track the um, basically you can track the history in this particular tab okay who made what kind of changes you can track here in this particular tab and here you have something called link okay so in case if you want to link any work item to this user story you can use this option to link it okay so if there is a add link option all right if you want to do you want to link an existing item or you want to create a new item okay for now i'm just using an existing item so here what kind of relation do you have power to this particular user story with the item that you're going to link okay so is it a child is it a branch is it a um, is it a build is it a um, is it is it a duplicate is it a hyperlink is it a parent so there are a lot of work item work here so you can select that item and link that user story for now i'm just gonna uh, say like um, affects okay so this story is gonna affect maybe you need to search a work item here so i already have a user story gift card with debit card okay so for some reason i'm thinking that this user story is linked to this and it will affect this particular user story so i'm just gonna select this option for that so that you will have a track of this items all right and i will click on ok now you have linked that work item okay so whenever you work on this particular uh, user story you will understand okay this user story is linked so we have to refer to this user story so that we do not miss anything on our implementation all right so that is something this link option link option will be very useful with all right and finally we have uh, attachment option all right so in case if you have uh, developed something if you are tested something and if you want to add some proof or if you want to add some uh, design document or any any kind of documents then you can use this attach op uh, attachment option to attach your documents and save it all right um, yeah i think that's all what this work item page cover okay so these are the very basic items that is present in the work item page i hope you understood what are the different items or different components present in the work item page um, i would suggest you to try this for different work item type say you pick a future and uh, or epic and see and if you have any different options in that epic or future you just let me know for any questions all right so that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys in case if you have any queries, please post it into the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe and follow my channel. Thank you.